Hey everyone, I'm going to show everyone real quickly how to optimize my site speed using Zoic's Site Speed Accelerator. So you can see here I have a score of 56 in Google's PageSpeed Insights, my Jiu-Jitsu site here. Um, I've got some of the settings on, but not all of them. Yet you can see in the image here that my menu is a little bit wonky looking and some of the WordPress themes will do this from time to time. And so we can actually work around that because the Zoic Site Speed Accelerator is built to circumvent some of those issues that the themes uh, cause. So first I'm gonna go into my speed tab up here at the top, and then I'm gonna scroll down. You can see I have uh, an active version. That's what's running on my site right now. Now, if I'm logged into WordPress and you can see I'm using the Divi theme here, so that's part of where I think my issue might lie with the menu. Um, however, if I try to do any tests and I'm logged into WordPress, none of the information will show. So I want to go ahead and create a new incognito tab. You can see here my menu is doing it both on desktop and if I go to inspect, I'll see that it's the same on mobile. And incognito keeps Ezoic from showing the logged in WordPress version of my site, in which case none of the site speed optimizations will show when I'm logged into WordPress because Ezoic is making sure not to cache any version of your WordPress version of the site or try to optimize it so that it would prevent you from working on your site. So in our case, we wanna use incognito to look at the site. So now I'm gonna go back to my speed section here and I'm going to make a clone of this version here. And so you can see my clone version appears here at the top. So this makes the same version that's active on my site and allows me to edit it just a little bit. And so I've actually created a clone already. And you can see here almost all the settings I have on. Um, I do not have remove unused CSS by page because while it may make a page speed score faster, it might actually make the site slightly slower uh, to visitors in real life. However, when I go through and I start looking at all the different things that I have on, I can select minify CSS, which is something that I'd like to add, and my script delay. So if something is appearing one way and then after the page finishes loading, it changes, script delay is probably the culprit. However, in my case, I believe that it is the CSS. It is the common issue whenever you have something like a menu that doesn't display like a menu. And this is something that Divi can cause from time to time uh, with just about any speed plugin. So I'm gonna go to URL rules now, and you'll see I have these exclusions that I can apply. So rather than applying them to the whole page, I'm gonna apply it to the directory of my site where the CSS for the menu is stored. That may seem intimidating. However, I'll walk you through it so that it's not that bad. So I'm gonna go back to the incognito version of my page. I'm gonna click on inspect. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click on this button here that looks like an arrow. And I'm actually gonna select the area of my site where I'm having the issue. So you can see here, mobile menu bar. I'm gonna click on it. And now from here, I can go in and find the exact URL associated with my menu item. So you can see I've got it selected right here. So my menu class, it's right here, menu item, custom menu. And I'm just gonna copy that. And now I'm gonna go back to the speed tab. And that's what I'm gonna exclude here. So I've gotta make sure that I've only included this URL and you can see there's a space here. So I don't need where it says current menu item, menu item home after this. I just need this portion here. So anytime it says cannot contain spaces, you can delete all the way back to just menu item in this case. So now I've excluded my menu where I was having the problems from the critical CSS rendering. And now I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna clear my site speed cache. 
And now I'm going to click on preview. Now remember what we said earlier about being logged into WordPress. Now you can see that my menu appears to be working just fine now. However, I'm still logged in. So I need to take that URL and I need to go back to my incognito window now. Now, this is a sure sign that you're doing things correctly because now it's telling me that a site speed preview for the page is being created. I can come back to this page in five to 10 minutes and once it's finished, it should prompt me to load the real version of the page or I can just come back and try this URL again. And you can see the preview is already ready. So now, in incognito, I can see in my preview that my menu is working again. And I can go to inspect and ensure that it, it looks fine on mobile as well. And lucky for me, it does. So now I've got a site speed version that has my menu working as I expect it to because I've excluded that item from critical CSS rendering, which is the most common reason why uh, a theme um, may not be displaying a uh, a menu or something correctly when site speed optimizations are enabled. So now I can close this out and I can run another page speed insight score. And I can use my preview URL to make sure that my site is going to be faster before I actually activate this new version with my working menu. And voila. You can see now that my site speed preview is finished. I have a score of 90, so I'm much faster now and I have a working menu on my site. It's not the same for every site, but this is how you can troubleshoot problems with themes or other uh, nasty WordPress plugins that inject a lot of different codes that you may or may not be familiar with. Uh, luckily, Ezoic has features embedded in its tools to make it easy to troubleshoot these things on your own.